Brick Fair, Brick Fair, Brick Fair. It's not fair, it's unfair at Brick Fair. Hey party people, welcome to day two of Brick Fair, Virginia. I'm here with Ross, he is having a great time. It's currently Thursday, yesterday was an insane day. We met up with our friend Lauren. It's been a lot, really overwhelming, but also really fun. I can't do this. I call this the worm, but vertically. <laughs> Emily, look, I got a really good clip for the video. Check it out. It's a good clip right there. It's part of my pillars of success. We've had a pretty slow morning. We went to Chick-fil-A for lunch, which was delicious. My favorite breakfast is the chicken biscuit. It is so good. And then McDonald's for lunch. I got a little bit of work done in the hotel room this morning, and now we're finally here. It's like 2 p.m. Ross is just living his best life. It said no standing. We had to come in today through the giant warehouse door, which is kind of fun. A bunch of people went up to David's house to like help him build the rest of this, I guess. I don't know. He like put people to work <laughs> to finish this up before the convention. And it's really cool. It's like right in the front. We found the Brickwiz again. Good morning, Matt. This technique is always so wild to see. We want to do something like that in our city to have the waves going on or something because the mesh allows for a lot more movement, but that means that everything else around it needs to be elevated a little bit more and that would be so hard to do. We were chatting with Matt for a little bit and Ross was like, how do I join Empire Lug? So we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, I think it's time now to check out some of the vendors. They're filling in a lot more than they were yesterday, but then check this one out. I did not see this here before. I doubt they had it here, but check it out. It's a Rebels display like a store display it's six hundred dollars but i really like this i want this i don't want to spend six hundred though what do i do we have both of the sets if that makes you feel better it does actually and i know in the past i wasn't as into custom minifigs but recently i love them i feel like at this point i've collected most of the lego stuff that i'm super into like scooby-doo and all that kind of stuff so now i'm more interested in the customs and eclipse graphics has some really good stuff k-town brick is here as well so i'll definitely be checking them out ross just ran off to the atm but i'm checking out k-town bricks now they have a ton of customs up here i believe last time they had a wednesday minifigure I'm not sure exactly where I saw that, but I thought that was here. And then these mermaid torsos are really cute. And then I remember seeing a lot of these printed tiles at Brickworld Chicago, but these are probably my favorite. You know, Welcome to the Zoo, Danger Shark Waters, Dino Crossing. I just think that's really fun. I love dinosaurs, you know, Amasaurus. It kind of makes sense. But then Missing Goat. I can't remember if we purchased one of these in Chicago or not. And because I can't remember, I might just buy a second one just in case. But I love that Missing Goat. I feel like that's the only way I'll ever get a goat in my Lego city. Oh, I love these pirate legs as well. Those are always so fun with like one of them being a peg leg. Yeah, these are all just really neat. I haven't seen this here before. It's like a carnival game. They're throwing the balls into the cup. It looks really hard. I don't think anyone's gotten it in yet. I was thinking about trying it, but maybe not. I feel like I'd be bad at it. This is really cool too. I love the space cap. I love the baseball hats. I feel like Ross needs more variety, even though he finally started wearing more Disney hats. Wait, this one's not for sale? It is. Okay. I'm taking off Mickey, right? Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> You're matching today. Oh, no, it matches the shirt, but... Exactly. There you go. Yay, you got a hat. I upgraded. It looks like they just have a bunch of different collectible Lego items. Like, these are pops here, some hats, badges, and then, obviously, they sell Lego, too. Ross looks so cute. Look at you. I do look cute, don't I? You do look cute. We just ran into Michael and his friends, so that was fun. Here's Ross again. But then, check it out. They have a mystery machine here. So, that's kind of wild. But here we are at Abby's Dabby's. They have a ton of really cool pieces here and they're already pre-sorted. Ross actually came home earlier with a ton of pieces from something. I don't even know where you went. All right, Lauren and I have been sent on a secret task. I'll tell you more about it in the elevator. Okay, now we are in the elevator. We're gonna go meet this sketchy Lego seller down in the lobby. He's got some good prizes on some good bricks. We gotta go pull up money at the ATM. We're gonna be really discreet about it. We've infiltrated. First target acquired. There we go. We are in position, trying to be discreet. Good job, Lauren. Somebody else here coming to ruin the party. Bring the party. There's the man himself. And there's Jay. What's up, Jay? I have come as a liaison for this deal. All right. Mm. Oh, Whitney. <laughs> party. All right, over here, this is Aaron. He comes Whoa, all the way from Europe, and he is actually the brother to our bricks and minifig seller. So I he, am. he told us he was able to let us see some pieces a little bit before everyone else. I feel very honored. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Aaron, here? don't do them. Let's just solve the first. Set them. Solve first. Look at all that green. Are you buying all of this? <laughs> Check it out here. He's got some clear trans tiles over here. He's got a lot of snot bricks over here. Masonry. He's got a lot of masonry bricks over here. Man. 
This is looking good. Look at that. Look at all that green. I think I'll be buying a few of these as well. <laughs> All right, so far this is what I'm looking at. He had a nice new elephant as well as all these new trans tiles. Check that out. Some cool little brown tiles. All these plants, these are gonna be so awesome in Lego City as well as all these little blue squares. I'm so stoked. Walked out of there, two bags of pieces. I'm pretty happy for this brick convention. I'm really not looking at any sets. I'm only trying to get mock pieces. So that's my goal for this time. So hopefully I stick to it, but I'm pretty stoked. But these are fun. I love this teal color. I'm always more drawn to the color than the actual piece and what I would use it for, which probably explains a lot about all of my videos and everything about my Lego collection so far. These are pretty, I want this. Look how pretty that is. And then I just love all the different Lego accessories. Like look at this little six pack cooler. How cute is this? Let me open this up. Would we or would we not be the coolest kids at the picnic with this giant, beautiful six pack Lego cooler? I have the Lego Levi jean jacket and how cute would it be to have some of these patches on there, like actually start collecting patches and putting them on. That kind of thing makes me really nervous though because I like the jacket as is and I feel like it is kind of collectible, but there's no way I'll ever sell it. But I'm also scared ironing things onto it. So we'll see. I might come back because those are really cute. Now I'm definitely going to be checking out Citizen Brick for a little bit because they have so many cool customs. And again, customs are kind of my vibe now. I'm into it. These printed tiles are definitely my favorite though. I just think they're so fun. Like the little alarm clock is adorable. They have bacon. Oh my goodness, it's a live, laugh, love sign. I can't, I can't handle this. These deep dish pizza signs as well. I feel like those would be really cool for Chicago. Locker tiles. Oh, and then I love this one too, beware of dog, because Ladybird's such a scary dog, you know? Oh wait, and then I saw these on TikTok, these fake gummies, $3 each. They're little Lego gummies. This is so cute. I do actually kind of want to eat it. The fake candy as well. These are so fun. They look real. I'm gonna grab a few, I think. I didn't have a dollar, and I've never actually had one of these OG brick separators, and I saw they had one, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. And then I saw these pieces here. I remember seeing these in like one of the Mario sets, and these were each a buck, and I was like, you know what, this would be really good for this willow tree mock that I think I wanna build. So I figured, might as well round it up to 20. Oh, and here we have some of the custom minifigures. Look at the Girl Scout. Her printing is so cute. I love that like dollar sign though, probably cause she's, you know, making all the cash, selling those Girl Scout cookies. Oh wait, actually those printed tiles next to her are literally Girl Scout cookies. That's fantastic. We have a burger chef over here. Down here we have Big Boat Small Door, which is the best name ever. And actually, wow, these are very sad. You can see Jack here <laughs> has been passed away and frozen. Very sad. <laughs> the door says Mac occupancy too. And then there's Rose. This is kind of sad, but I love it. Do you like the Bonkles? Yeah, I do. Look at it. They even call it that Monkle Bugs. We found some wacky, <laughs> wavable, inflating arm yeah, yeah, tube man yeah, minifig things, and so we're about to purchase them. Cool. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, these are awesome. <laughs> That's a good job. Appreciate it. Remember when I said earlier that we weren't going to buy anything? <laughs> We lied. That happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. We also have <laughs> this one now too. Now we're back in the convention hall checking out some of the builds and we found this one here. It's Defense of the Samurai. Our friend Shy from Shy Time is My Time did a huge army for Brick World Chicago, but this army here might actually be bigger. I can't tell. They're both gigantic. And then Ross found another giant castle. This is crazy. This is so cool. Look at the gator eating the minifig skeleton. The path here is so well done, but it looks simple enough to where I could do this. You know, sometimes it's just like, oh gosh, there's no way. Like these stairs, I don't know if I could actually accomplish this without a lot of trial and error, but this path, looks incredible. I'm definitely drawing inspiration from all the builds I'm seeing here because I really want to use some of these build techniques in my Lego city. But then even crazier, right next to that one, we have this one here, the Mecha Knight by Nick Hopkins. This is beautiful. All of that rock work there. I'm so bad at rock work. I wish I was better, but oh wow, it takes so much time. And then all of the greenery down here, it's so simple looking at it. Like I know that I could do this, but I just never thought to use these giant pieces to create all this like luscious greenery grassland. We found Brad. Hi. Hi. It's pouring rain outside. Oh, is it raining? It's so fun seeing everyone again. Chicago was only a month ago, but it feels like forever. It's because it reminds me of your favorite theme. I love all the color. That's so and fun. Then he's got the WandaVision set. Okay. Barbie. And then the Barbie house. Yes. Eee, I saw this on TikTok and I was obsessed. This is beautiful. He did a really good job with that. I did a, like a harbor, Blue Coach Harbor. Okay. It's a new Eldorado Fortress. Whoa. I'm just really obsessed. So good. And then if you, you can see it sort of, there's like 
a guy just hiding down there. Oh yeah, I see the minifig hands. So Maticus's girlfriend Emma made this one, and it's so cute. All the little sushi pieces. It's so simple, but such a fun concept. We have a pretty big crew of Lego people over here, and we're all gonna head over to the Brick Mania pretty soon. It's literally right next door to the convention center. It's kind of crazy. And last year, I just never went inside. I don't know why. Hanging out with Matt. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> it's good. Are you guys having fun? Of course. We're at a Lego convention. Yeah. Buttloads of fun. <laughs> Buttloads, buttloads of fun. We made it to Brick Mania, finally. I'm excited. I've never been. Yeah, I've never been in here. This is cool. Thanks, Brad. This place is really big. I feel like I'm whispering. <laughs> so I know my friend Shy, Shy Time is My Time, has a bunch of these, but I have never actually encountered a <laughs> Brick Mania one before. This is so cool. I don't know much about military vehicles at all, but it's really cool seeing them built out of Lego. You know how I told you I wasn't gonna buy any sets this trip? Yeah. They have both battle packs here. Lego like advertise them as like limited time only, which I guess every Lego set is limited time only. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I need them. And so she was like, well, you're gonna have to mow other people's lawns and pay for it. And so I like did all these chores and I even paid for it on eBay early. Everyone's inspecting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they sealed though? They're no. sealed. Mm. Oh. Ross has his crew helping him out with this. Oh wow. This is the one set actually that I still don't have that I really want. And it's a really good box here for 125. I am gonna be honest right now, I didn't expect to come into Brick Mania and find Toy Story. Like that was the last thing I thought I would find in this store. So this is kind of wild. Wow, I want this. Woody's Roundup, look how beautiful that is. I would put that on the shelf and I would take care of it. I would feed it every day, Ross. Yeah. I want that, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ross thinks we should go to the garage sale first and see if they have it. If not, and we'll come pick it up. The Lego Kuso Minecraft set too. Oh, wow. Wow. There's some gems in here. <laughs> this is crazy. Even SpongeBob Glove World. I've never actually seen the box for this. I've seen this actual set like built before at Bricks and Minifigs, but this is crazy. They have this other Toy Story set as well. I do have this, but I bought it used. And I don't even think I got the box with it. Oh, our friends just left. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so crazy seeing so many different things that Lego would never make. I'm glad we came in here today. This is my first time ever at a Brick Mania, and I'm so happy I finally made it in. I can't believe I wasn't here last year. We just left Brick Mania. It started to rain a little bit. It, which kind of sucks. Ross is protecting my camera. Unlike Brick World Chicago, you actually have to walk back and forth to everything. Like our hotel's way over there. And I really wanted Starbucks. It's about 4 p.m. right now. The garage sale's starting in an hour and I don't think I have time to get Starbucks. So I'm a little bit sleepy. We're just gonna deal with that. It's cool. Everyone's busy in the convention center working on stuff. Maticus! Hi! What's Good to happen? see you! That's Maticus is selling at the garage sale that tonight, so looking hour. through a few things. Um, <laughs> oh, nice. I have, oh, you're a Harry Potter. Not as much. Have this one? No. no. no not as into one. it. I, I got oh, it here last neat. year and I never built it, so I'm like, oh, why yeah. do I still have it? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's an old one I got, yeah, from somebody cool. on like Marketplace. So every year, my friends get me a theme that's centered around a random picture of me. Last year was a cake of me and my high school letterman jacket. Um, this year, as you can see, 10 of them use their free one by one tile to get me um, a, a plaque puzzle of this really embarrassing photo of me. So I'm not sure where these photos are coming from, but it's like a staple now. So I look forward to it every year, which is kind of nice. You look beautiful. I do. Your Thank friends you. really like you. Course, yeah. <laughs> Ross has returned. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. You got what? So this was the cake last year. This is a, uh, a photo. I, I did a photo shoot for That's like really it was cute. like family portraits. I wore my jacket, but it was a whole cake and they brought it up. And then this year it's followed up with this one. So now it's like, what, how, how, do you, how do you beat this next year? Yeah, I'm like, excited to maybe, see. <laughs> maybe like half of you will wear shirts or something with my face, I don't know. All right, it's finally time for the garage sale. There's about 10 minutes till five, which is when it starts. And we got word that Woody's Roundup, that set that I found earlier at Brick Mania is here. And I'm really frantic right now because I wanna find it. And I don't know who had it, but I got a tip that it was over in this area. I'm just kind of anxious because it's a really good deal. It was $30 cheaper than what we saw at Brick Mania. So I really want to find it. Everyone's still kind of setting up, but we were redirected back up to this front area. This is apparently where Woody's Roundup was spotted. Me and Ross are still on the hunt. Ooh, tons of Lord of the Rings stuff. I think I'm gonna lose Ross here for a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, here's some Scooby stuff. This looks promising, maybe. Oh, I see the Palace Cinema in there as well as like that Friends employee set for 200. That's not bad. Oh, I love that Korg set. How they're doing the garage sale for Brick Fair is it's a giant ring around this entire convention center. Oh, tons of pieces in here. Lots of greenery. We're gonna be back there soon. I found it. Oh my goodness, it's in that bin there. 
120 for Wendy's Roundup. I'm freaking out right now. Oh my goodness. They have a bunch of stuff at their table here, but I'm gonna ask about that set down there. Hi, excuse me. I see Wendy's Roundup down there. Could I take a look at that? Oh, awesome. How much is that, 120? Thank you. Oh my goodness. And this is new in box. The one at Brickmania was used. This is beautiful. Okay. About 20% below Brickland cost. No, that's amazing. I think I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. This is all I was after today. It says 128 on there. I only had 120 cash because that's all Ross gave me because to be fair, I was told it was only 120. So I got a pretty good deal on this. Now we need to go find Ross though. I think he's still looking at pieces and I don't have any money. So I'm gonna go ask for some more money too. I'm so happy you guys. I really wanted this. This is the only Toy Story set I had left for my collection, I believe or at least it's the only one that I still wanted. You know what I mean? Look at this, it's like a little Western rodeo. I love Toy Story. I love Toy Story 2, and that's kind of like what this reminds me of the most. Now I just need to go find Ross. He's gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> Ross, look what I got. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, congrats. Yay. Ross told me to start my own sealed set collection, but I think that's silly and I'm not gonna do it. So now I can kind of calm down a little bit more and just take it all in. Oh, she got the BB-8. It's like <laughs> honestly the only sequel set I see people want in the aftermarket. Oh, here's JB's table. Oh wow, he has the piggies again. I have a bunch of them, otherwise I'd probably pick up some more. This is actually pretty smart, this giant cork board. This table has a bunch of different friend stuff, but then over here it's like a Mojo Dojo Casa house. I'm gonna go grab Ross and see if he wants to pick that one up. That's cute, there's like a Sturber's Island calendar in the back there. Wow, moving down this way is just kind of a madhouse. There's so much happening, it's kind of hard to see what's going on, but there are a bunch of boxes here. What is this, it looks like a modular, the diner up there. I'm so happy that I have all the modulars that I'm after at this point. Just tons of stuff going on here. Ooh, Minecraft, maybe Ross will be into it. And then these foil packs are so fun. You can only find them in Europe, which is kind of crazy. There's tons of parts going on on this table. I'll point Ross over here actually, because these are some really interesting pieces. And I feel like Ross is gonna be way too excited when he sees this table here. They have the Tower of Orthanc in the back. We do have this one, and luckily we bought it a few years ago. And then the Parisian restaurant. I think this is actually our first modular. It's so cute. There's like the engagement happening outside, and we were engaged at the time, so it's very nostalgic for us. Yeah, this is a set Ross had as a kid, and then he sold it, and he regrets like, it to this like day because it is so expensive now. It's crazy. Oh, this is neat. That giant monkey kid set was actually our first monkey kid set ever before we really even knew what the theme was. Here comes Ross. He looks exhausted. Why do you look so tired? This is intense. It's uh, it's pretty fun though. I'm worried we're missing out on stuff, so we should keep going. Okay, we'll keep going. There's actually a really good number of Scooby sets, like on this table over here behind me. He has a few, I think the plane, and then something else there too, the Pharaoh set that no one really cares about. There's also the Lego Star Wars holiday set for 1300. I am so happy I have this already. And then I know the giant Statue of Liberty set is on a lot of people's white whale list, along with that Ghostbusters set just behind it. At this point, I'm just kind of shopping around. I don't need anything else. Really, Toy Story was the only thing that was on my list, but not even on my list, actually. I didn't come here to buy anything, but I was pleasantly surprised at Toy Story. Oh, okay, up at this table here, it looks like they have all the goods, tons of Minecraft stuff. Ross is down there already. They have some monster fighters, which is kind of like the OG Scooby-Doo from what I've seen. The Lego House Duck. Okay, wait, I really want this, and I wanted to get it from Bill End at some point, but I don't know what I'm going. I have no idea. I might try to get a price on this. There's a nice Winter Village no, set, the giant bad. Hobbit set. We do have that one already, thankfully. How much for the duck? 160. 160? Cool, mm -hmm. thanks. Over here they do have the Mystery Mansion, one of my favorite sets. It's so cute. It's wild. This one here is missing all the minifigs and it's $200. When I got it, I paid $130 for all the minifigs. It was pretty much complete, like 99%. That was actually one of the first sets that I ever got when I started getting into LEGO and I'm so glad I got it when I did because I think now it's like $300 or more new in box, which is crazy. I'm not going to pay that. <laughs> Ross is on the move. Check this one out. This was like a Target exclusive. They only did these for two years. I learned this recently that this particular figure is, you know, limited edition and that's why this one is worth so much. How much is it? Oh wow, okay. And I actually got it for him. He's also limited edition. But you have that? Yeah. I do nice. Oh, <laughs> good job, Ross. I bought it at Target. So I caved and I did end up buying some sets, but I was really good. I didn't go for the sealed sets, so I was able to secure the Ender Dragon and the Wither Battle. And I told the guy, I was like, no one else here is buying Minecraft but me. So uh, he, he gave it to me total for 60 bucks. So I saved 10 bucks on this and I'm pretty excited because now I have both of the bosses in the game. 
finally. Boss has told me that we are out of money, so I guess we're gonna call it. There's a second yard sale in two days, so be ready. Oh yeah, I actually forgot about that. So this is garage sale number one. There's gonna be another garage sale in a few days, and that's garage sale number two, I guess. So all of this that's happening right now, we get to do it again, except we're out of money. So we might just go get more money, you know, just in case. Nom, 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 nom. I've never seen a Belleville set new in box. This is so fun. I kind of want it. Look how cute that is. There's like a little puppy plate place. That's so cool. We're heading over to the far corner of the convention center again. Ross ordered this Minecraft set on Mercari and then it never shipped. So we're going to try to find it and see if they still have it here. Was it this one here? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Ross really wants this. It has all those printed tiles. Yay, thank you guys. Awesome. Ross liked that with some awesome new Minecraft sets, but now we're over at Eclipse Graphics. They weren't open earlier today, but now they have everything laid out. Yeah, I really like that they do like kind of the off-brand stores, you know, like Starblocks Coffee. That one's really fun. I like the record store one too. That's cool. Bodega. We want to find some more big box oh, store printed pieces just like for the Lego oh, City. Oh, and here they have all of the different custom minifigures. I love the graffiti walls. I think that's so creative and fun. Oh, these are fun like Christmas cookies. Oh wow, I love this. That one's like half eaten too. Yeah, all the different types of candies here are so fun as well. Okay, we're definitely coming back soon. Like look at that gobstoppers, so cool. We'll come back to Eclipse Graphics probably tomorrow to shop. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry and the garage sale's starting to wind down. We've been hanging out over at the Empire Lug table for a bit and Ross left my new Toy Story set with them. So I need to find that before we go. Me and Ross have been kind of vegging out for the last 20 minutes, just kind of like come down from this hectic afternoon. Very hectic. It's also raining, so we're stuck in a convention hall. Very so rainy. there's that. So I guess we're doing a car haul here. It's a concession hall. Concession hall. Concession, concession hall. hall. Concession hall. hall. Okay, do you want to go first, Ross? All right, I'll go first. First thing I got was this hat. This one always like went off the rack pretty fast on the VIP. So I went and it matches my blue demeanor. Doesn't he look cute? Thank you. <laughs> I also got a lot of Minecraft sets. So I was really happy about this. This is the Minecraft set that I've been wanting for a long time, but I was able to find it used with all of the pieces intact. At least that's what they told me. Got at the garage sale for a good price. Was able to bundle this with a few other Minecraft sets. So I also got this Jungle Temple set. This is probably the only Minecraft set that I got more so for like the pieces and like the set itself. The other ones I got more for the mobs. I was also able to get this Wither and Wither Skeleton set. I'm excited about that. So now I finally have the Wither. Is the other bad guy boss in the game. It is the Ender Dragon. So I'm really excited that I got the Ender Dragon as well. So pretty good. And I got them a little bit less than what they were selling it for just because I was able to bundle them all. So happy about that. What about you, Emily? Okay, okay. I'm happy that Ross is happy and I'm happy that he found stuff that he was after for a while. And I got it at a deal. I went yeah. to the people and I was like, look, I'm the only one here buying Minecraft stuff. And they're like, yeah, probably. Yeah, so that's true. <laughs> all right, so first up, I'm gonna do the haul from Lauren because she gave this to us and I don't know where she went. <laughs> Lauren got BB-8. Is BB hungry? No, BB-8, haha. <laughs> but then the best set of all, you guys, I didn't even know that I really wanted this. I mean, it was always on the back of my mind as a set that I wanted. So it is a white whale, but I was just never gonna go out of my way to get it, if that makes sense. Like Pizza Planet Truck was way higher up on that list for me. But this set, y'all, I've already shown it in the video, but surprise, surprise. I got Woody's Roundup. New in box. New in box, Woody's Roundup. Oh wait, I found Lauren. Do you want to show them what you got, Lauren? Uh, <laughs> I got a sealed BB-8. Lauren is BB and hungry? BB hungry. BB-8. I got a mocking mat. Measure out bricks and quarter bricks and half bricks. So oh, the that Lego mat. Fun. The Lego mat. I bought 20 boxes of black Nets, gray eagle, giant eagle from Lord of the Rings. What? Whoa. Only for $18? Yeah. And then I bought an extra Aunt Baru set for oh. 30 <laughs> which I think is pretty good. I got this weird Luke Skywalker. Whoa. <laughs> what is no that? No way. I don't know what it is, oh. but it was like cool I and want, weird. That's so cool. That's Lauren that found is. some good stuff. Whoa. I thought it was fun. <laughs> Lauren's better at this than we are. Yeah, Lauren won the garage sale. But anyways, back to Woody's Roundup. I got it and I'm happy. That's about it. I'm thrilled. The real question is, are you going to open it or is this the beginning of your sealed set collection? Oh gosh, that's so hard. I think sealed set collections are kind of silly, but I really like this set and I'm kind of scared to open it. We'll, we'll figure that out. Time will tell. I can just open it for you now. Oh. Well guys, that wraps up the end of... Ben Costner, Star Wars movie. Ooh, Ben's in trouble. Ooh, ben. 
All right, guys, well, that wraps up day two and the first of two yard sales, garage sales, brick sales, whatever you call them, at Brick Fair, Virginia. So stay tuned. We're going to have another one in a few days. Yay! Make sure to spay and neuter your pets. Bye!